those of you who follow me for a while, you know that I attach everything to the wall. Chargers, power cables. I went to bit Casey nice that on the studio and it worked brilliantly. Until my shoots got a little bit bigger and we started to run out of plug sockets. And yes, I could have a few more sockets added, but to be honest, we're sort of hitting the limits of the breaker in here at the moment. So not such a great option. However, what I've done instead is I've built a charging trolley and I'm gonna put links to everything you need below in this. I didn't get given any of it, I paid for everything in here. But it has been such a game changer, I wanna share it with you because it is an easy bit of thing to do. All you need are some zip ties, some sticky Velcro, a multi-socket and your chargers. It is that simple. So I built, I bought the trolley off Amazon. It was about 50 pounds. And the reason I bought it was I was searching for pegboard and suddenly a pegboard trolley came up. I was gonna copy one of these other videos where they've got the nice pegboard charging walls and it's gonna look all moody and sexy and all that good stuff. And then I started thinking, most of my stuff is on trolleys. My assistant's kit is on a trolley. Styling kit's on a trolley. My computer's on trolleys. Everything can move because we have to move so much in here. Why don't I put my charging wall on a trolley? So I did. And the genius of this now is, sometimes when I'm editing, I'll be charging everything from the previous day's shooting. And I can plug it in next to my desk in the office and monitor it from there rather than having to go in and out of the office. Because we don't heat the studio when we're not shooting because, you know, polar ice caps and uh, also, why would you? Um, so we'll heat the office, have the charging going on in there, and then I don't have to keep walking out into the freezing cold warehouse section. Also, it means that when we're shooting, if I suddenly need a plug socket, which is holding charges, I can just unplug it, wheel the whole thing along, and take it to its new location. It also means I have somewhere safe to store all of my batteries as well. There's a little tray for dead batteries, there's one for charged batteries, and you can sort of see what's going on and anyone can work it out. So got a new assistant in for the day, that they can work out the charging trolley. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to have a go at it, please give it a crack and just send me a picture of what you've made. If you've got a better idea or any design ideas that would make it better, also let me know. Now, although it is, you know, safe, I wouldn't actually leave this plugged in overnight. Um, I only leave these sorts of things plugged in whilst I'm here. I'm a little bit paranoid about power supplies. Um, so I'd suggest you also do the same. So if you're gonna leave stuff charging, make sure you're in the house with it or in the studio with it. Don't just leave it running there because sometimes you can get some slightly dodgy electrics and it gets a bit hot and a bit melty and a bit fiery. And then, you know, then you need to really be praying your insurance is good. 